Hello again everyone, I am Tiger Arcade. welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to go over something that I graciously received from my volts all the way from the Netherlands, and that is patch cables. But these are not just any ordinary patch cables, these are the candy cord halo patch cables. What does that mean? Well, they light up as signals are being sent through the cable. In other words, on your semi-modular, your modular synthesizers, as you patch them and you send signals, it will light up in response to that signal. Um, and the intensity will change the color. This little packet right here is called the color pack. I got pineapple yellow and it comes with eight patch cables there's four different sizes there's two 15 centimeter two 30 centimeter two 50 centimeter and two 80 centimeter so that's really nice a lot of variation sometimes you get you know a pack and it's just all the same size and that can get frustrating so this will be nice because i'll be able to not only patch with my uh, sound studio, my Moog sound studio, but I'll also be able to patch it with other gear that I have. Something else that this came with were these little cable tidies. These are really awesome, just kind of keeping your cables tidy and organized. I love these things, I do use them a lot. And so I'll be adding it to my collection. Let's open this up. I've already opened it, but just for presentation purposes, you know, I wanted to show you guys it in the bag. These remind me a lot of my Korg MS-20 patch cables, you know, the black ends, the yellow cables. These are gold plated. There's a lot of hype around that. People say that, you know, it'll make them last longer or helps with the signal. Some people even argue that it makes them sound better. I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me. So I have tested these out. I've used them and I want to give you my opinion on whether or not I think you guys should buy these. I mean, obviously in the end, that's going to be entirely up to you, but just based on my experiences, maybe that'll help your decision. I think it's a cool educational way for people to be able to see what their synthesizer is doing. For example, on your synthesizer, a lot of times they'll show like an LFO light and you can see it blinking, flashing. I think that's a cool way to understand what's going on. Other times, you know, people will use oscilloscopes, cool way to see the waveforms, what's going on within your synth. I think these cables are kind of taking it to like the next level with being able to see signals going between patch points on your modular and semi-modular synthesizers. So it's a cool way to understand or further your understanding of your synthesizers. Something else that I really like about these is they seem to be really good quality, you know? I've taken them in, taken them out, moved them around, twisted them around. They seem to be pretty sturdy, durable quality. I mean, I haven't had these, you know, for months or years or anything, so we'll see how they withstand the test of time. So that's another thing is these seem like really good quality cables. So I wanted to talk about, in particular, my volts. I have other cables from my Volts, and I really appreciate their customer service and their website information about the cables. They, they offer a lot of information about the stuff that they offer. And it's nice, you know, for them to not be absent like some other companies where I have really have to like arm wrestle them to get information or just waiting. These did take <laughs> almost an entire month to get here and I've noticed that in the past as well when I purchased directly from MyVolt's website, it can take a long time as opposed to when I purchase on Amazon, you know, I get it within the, act the actual time frame that Amazon says that I'll get it from. So take your pick, you know, if you're in Europe, this is probably better to just buy straight from their website or if there's something that they don't offer on Amazon, you know. So let's get with some of the cons that I have already experienced with these cables. Kind of weird. Um, one in particular is sending clock on my sound studio. It does some really weird things like sending the clock out from my subharmonicon and then sending it to my DFAM, for example. 
it like won't play the sequencer anymore on my D fam and then just locks it on one step and then just keeps playing that one step. It's not playing the sequencer. Weird stuff. There seems to be some issues with patching that a normal patch cable, you know, wouldn't do or it, it, it would operate the same if I were to use any other standard patching cable. But then when I use these, all of a sudden it gives me a really weird reaction um, or result. For me, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It feels more like a bad thing, but it's only when I patch certain things and I need to continue to observe and see really what's going on. I looked on MyVolt's website, you know, and again, like I said, they're a very transparent company. And they did talk about how there are some things that happen with their cables. They don't, you know, boast that these are the best cables in the world, but they do boast that these are great quality and that you still will get interesting and fun results from them. They've mentioned on their website that people that use these with like Make Noise, Erica Sense, Buchla, sometimes they get weird results from these cables. And now I'm noticing I'm getting some weird results. I still am able to work around it though and tweak my synth to then modify and adapt to what these are doing, but it's just a, a reality. I still think that these are really cool and fun to use. Keep that in mind if you do want to purchase it. Maybe try out just a few and see if it works out for you. Anyways, I'm curious what you guys think. If you guys have had any issues with these, if you like using them, I think these are fun. I think they're great. And again, I want to thank MyVolts for sending these my way. Um, I'm definitely going to be using them and they go this this pineapple yellow. It looks really good alongside the black face plates on my synthesizer. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you guys next time.